What's up everybody? It's Tyler from Dirt Road Country here. It is day three of CMA Fest and I have a good friend of mine here with me. He's from New Mexico. He's here in Nashville for the week. He's a great rising country star and his name is Zachy Sakana. Zachy, welcome. How's it going, Tyler? It's nice seeing you again. Nice to see you, too. you got plenty of music out there right now, and you even got a new one coming. Yes. I had the chance to listen to it last night, and it is, man, it's just pure country music. It's got that perfect blend of, like, like that, that Mexico vibe sound, like the George yep. Strait, early 80s sound on some of those songs. Yep. I love it. I'm excited, and, you know, like, I'm here at CMA Fest, but in between doing all the interviews and my set, I've been in the studio all week, really, so we didn't turned it around in two, three days. So I'm really excited. Mid-July, new songs called Oceanside Attitude, so go give it to y'all a listen. It's going to be a great time. So how's it feel to be here? This is the biggest week in country music. Lots going on. You've been a busy guy so far. What you been up to, and what's your favorite part of the festival? Honestly, the, my favorite part of the festival so far is just being able to catch up with friends I don't normally get to see. You know, we'll mess each other on Instagram or TikTok or my, just via text. And I'm like, hey, are you at Me Fest this year? And they're like, yeah. It's like, Let's go grab lunch. Let's go do this. Like, heck, we actually got dinner last night. We did. We did. We got dinner last night. Pharmacy Burger, Assembly Food Hall, highly recommend. Second floor, truly amazing. So th this is your first CMA Fest experience, right? Second. It is your second. Yeah, so okay. last year I got to do my first time doing CMA Fest. Last year was a totally different experience. This year, I've been on it every single day, so it's it's been a grind, to say the least. Have you met a lot of cool fans? I met a lot of folks from back home. I was very, very shocked. So shout out to the folks from New Mexico. I truly love you guys. And they what, made it. What's the population in New Mexico? That's a very good question. I don't know. Is it even a million people? I believe so, yes. Okay. I know that we're kind of sporadically everywhere. There's a lot of open land in New Mexico, a lot of space for cattle and such, especially if you go up north. But it's great seeing folks from everywhere and a lot of familiar faces I've seen at previous shows, so that was really, really cool to see. Well, the thing that comes to mind for me is I feel like you're pretty big in the Texas, New Mexico area right now, and you're coming over to Nashville back and forth. What What's the change been like for you when you come from a place like New Mexico all the way out west? It's kind of like a whole different life than Nashville, so what what's the experience like going back and forth? I think, so living here in Nashville is truly amazing. Um, but one thing I really miss from being back home in New Mexico itself is having all the things I love surrounding me. So two months ago, I decided to move back home and being in Nashville full time to going back forth has been honestly really easy and really fun. I truly have found more love in music just because I'm able to be home, live life really, and then still be on the road here and there. Yeah. And coming back to Nashville, I still get to be in the studio. I get to... Um, do all my co-writes and watch a lot of my friends doing the exact same thing as well and it's just it's been so much fun really so what's the rest of the year look like for you like we were saying you got that new single coming sometime in july you got a lot of shows planned i have a lot of shows i'm booked up up till october i believe so so i'm very grateful for that um but got some more songs besides those side attitude i have some songs that i think you're gonna like a lot of keys a lot of steel guitar on them a lot of old school heartbreak country songs that has been missing in in our genre now, so I can't wait to bring it back, and it's a lot of fun, I promise you that. But besides that, not much. If you liked everything that this guy right next to me was saying, it's all true. You should follow Zachy if you don't already follow him on Instagram, TikTok, and the other social media platforms, because he is the real deal. He is true country music. He's bringing that sound back, and I'm so glad that he was able to join me here in Nashville at CMA Fest. Man, thanks for being here. Thank you again for having me, man. It means a lot.